yeah, I've scaled this up to 125 because, well, yeah, I think it would be nice to see it. But, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was actually just gonna go close that because, well... But yeah, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of stuff on here. I put both iWork and iLife on here, but the programs in those uh, suites are gonna be for another day. I'm not gonna cover every single program in this, but we're gonna start with Finder because I already did this. I mean, I also cannot go to about this Mac because otherwise it'll, it'll just crap. Okay, so it doesn't support this. This... Yeah, for whatever reason, it's kind of quiet. Hopefully this is... So, maybe. Okay, yeah, that's better. But yeah, and so where do we start? Because there's so much stuff. Well, let's start with iCal. And yeah, I am a Windows user, so I have to, so I like to do stuff like that. So yeah, this is iCal, basically the calendar program for... Yeah. Also, not to mention, I kind of can see that there's a bit of a, a reflection. And with the dock, which is kind of cool. So at least there's that. I mean, I, I have no idea how they managed to make the interface so good without like doing anything like transparency effects. Actually, while we're at it, we're gonna go into the system preferences and change the desktop background to just the... to just the default background, cause, well, yeah. Well, no, we're gonna change this to water. Like, actually, uh, yeah, you can kinda see, this is why I use, why, this is usually why I don't cover Mac OS. It's because there's so many good backgrounds that Apple puts in here. But yeah, you have so many different backgrounds to choose from. But anyway, back to iCal. Well, how do we... We have to go into here. New event. One. Get info. Alarm. That's what your sound. Oh. And yeah, you can change the sound. I'm gonna use that. One. What? Just set that to one. And I will just do this. I mean, and keep in mind, program is still open. You got preview. Um, just does this. So you gotta go into open. Pictures. Um, is this working? View. Oh, and there's the thingy. Okay, so I don't think that's working properly. Let's go to preview. Quit preview. Go to iTunes. This is gonna ask us to set things up. Do not. Done. We'll just do this. iTunes could not connect to the iTunes store. Yeah, I know it should probably just be its own video, but, well... I know it should... Probably just be its own video, but well, this is the program on its original platform. So I'm gonna use. So if I'm doing a video about this program, it's probably just gonna be on 
I've been covering the Windows version. And yeah, this sound is coming from really high quality speakers. Alright, now let's. Alright, now that's enough of that. Actually, I have to go quit iTunes, otherwise, it'll just. Now I'll go to Dashboard. And you can see there's like quite a lot of widgets. This was basically really cool. A unit converter. Let's see. Convert the speed. And yeah, this is basically really cool because basically you got a unit converter on your desktop. And basically they're widgets. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Now we'll go to Photo Booth because it won't work because there's no connect camera, so we don't need to deal with that. Let's see, what should we cover next? So, no, we already have a... We're going to cover this. No idea how... Oh boy, I have no idea how bad the sound quality is going to be on this. Okay, yeah, not that bad. Well, yeah, this is QuickTime Player, and as you can see, uh, this is a video clip of me playing pinball. Because I couldn't find anything better. We'll go to quit out uh, the QuickTime Player. I'll go to Applications. Now we're going to go open up Dictionary. Let's, let's see. Will this work? Oh wow, this is really cool. You basically have a that's really cool. Hamburger. So yeah, basically really cool. You got like a dictionary built into the system. You have chess. Which we are not gonna play because I am pretty bad at chess. I'll go to calculator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's calculator. Oh, great. I, no, I didn't mean to actually. I'm gonna go quit out of the calculator. You have text edit, which is basically a text editor. You're not gonna save that. Mm. Now there's utilities, but we're not gonna cover any of these because I'll well, normally need to. I mean, there's graphor. I have no idea what this is. Oh wait, it's a graphing thingy. That's what this is. Don't save. You have the activity monitor, which basically was the macOS equivalent to the uh, task manager, which is on Windows. And now, last but not least, we have address book. Well, yeah, you got like Apple. I'm pretty sure if we do this, yeah, as you can tell, unlike modern day macOS, it keeps the dock. And we have mine, which basically only shows my name. But yeah, that's address book, and well, yeah, I think that's I think that's about everything. So yeah, I'll show you what happens when you click about this Mac. Basically, it crashes Finder. But yeah, that's Mac OS 10.6. I'm gonna go shut this down, so you can see the kernel panic. And yeah. And with that, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!